<clears throat> Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Union Zor Education. Uh, today we will continue uh, talking about basic elements of geometry, of planimetry actually. And uh, today's topic will be polygons. Well, everybody knows more or less that polygon is something like this, right? So let's try to define it in more rigorous terms. First of all, as we see, polygon contains segments. So segments, we know what it is. These are just pieces of a straight line between two points, endpoints. Well, let's call the segment endpoints uh, beginning and end. Doesn't really matter. Left and right, number one, number two, doesn't matter. So let's consider we have certain number of segments um, which are arranged on the plane in such a way that the beginning of every segment uh, corresponds to the end of the previous segment. So it's a it's ordered set of segments. This is segment number one. This is segment number two, etc. And every one of them has a beginning and an end. And the end of the segment number one coincides the, with, with the beginning of the segment number two. So if this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, number four, and number five in this case. So the end point of every segment number n, end of number n, uh, coincides with the beginning of uh, number n plus 1. Uh, at the very end, when we have exhausted all the segments which we have, uh, the ending point of the last segment should coincide with the beginning of the segment number 1. And that actually closes the whole loop, and uh, that's how we have the polygon. Well, we can have it drawn in this way, but there are different ways to draw a polygon. So let's try to differentiate different polygons. Well, number one, uh, polygons can be differentiated by the number of segments, or the number of vertices, which is exactly the same thing. So every endpoint of every segment is called vertex. And uh, the segment itself usually called a side or a leg sometimes. Um, that's as far as the terminology is concerned. Now, what's interesting is that there are polygons which can be drawn This way. Let's say this is segment number one, this is number two, this is number three. Number four, I will draw this way. And then number five, this way, and number six, this way. So this will be number four, this will be number five, and this will be number six. Is this a polygon? Well, the answer is yes, but it's not the polygon which we will ever talk about in, in our course of geometry. Um, the polygons which have this um, property of crossing segments are not traditionally considered um, a, a, as basically a subject of, of studying in, in the geometry. So we will concentrate on polygons that do not have any two segments crossing each other. And uh, these polygons, which we will consider, are called simple. So this is not a simple polygon, although it is a polygon. But we will never consider anything like that. So that's one classification. Uh, well, another classification can be also related to the shape of the polygon. For instance, we can have this type of a polygon. Now, what's interesting about this particular polygon? 
And what's the difference between this one and, let's say, this one? For some reason, today I'm drawing only uh, polygons with five vertices. Anyway, so what's the difference? Well, consider this one. And consider all the points which belong to all the segments uh, comprising the polygon. If we take any two points on any two segments and draw a segment between them, this segment always lies inside the polygon itself, inside the area which is um, uh, uh, bordered, uh, which is bounded by the polygon. Now, in this case, this is not uh, true, because if you will take, for instance, this and this, two points which belong to two different segments, and draw a segment, then part of the segment, this one, is inside the polygon, and uh, another part is outside. So these polygons are called convex. And these one concave. Uh, it's more customary uh, to talk about convex polygons. It, it's just a tradition, basically. Because whenever we're talking about triangles, which are the simplest uh, polygons, which contain only three vertices and three sides, well, all triangles are convex, just because there are only three sides, and they cannot be outside of each other. It's always in between something. Uh, with, uh, with quadrangles, uh, polygons with four sides, uh, it is already possible to have a concave polygon like this. But it's quite rarely, actually, that we, usually, that we will consider them. Most likely, all the polygons which, which we will be talking about um, will be uh, concave ones, uh, sorry, convex ones. Concave is something which is rarely um, occurring in, in practice and uh, in problems. So simple and convex. Actually, there is another interesting property of convex uh, polygons. If you will take any side, so let's forget about this property, that the line which connects two points on any two segments lies within the polygon. So let's consider a different property. What if you will take any side and make a straight line out of it? So any segment can be uh, extended to the straight line. Then the polygon itself always lies on one side of this line. So no matter which side we will take, the polygon um, which is convex, always lies on one side of the, of the line. And again, as an example of concave polygon, if you will take this side, for instance, as you see, piece of the polygon is on one side of the line, and piece of the piece of it is on another side. So that's just another property of convex polygons, and uh, uh, actually, it's an equivalent to the one which we talked about before, like two points and two different segments always have the segment which completely inside the polygon. These are two completely equivalent uh, properties of uh, the convex polygons, and, uh, and one can be used as a definition, and another can be proved as a, uh, as a theorem, actually. So we will always uh, consider simple and in most cases, convex polygons. Now, as far as terminology related to number of vertices or number of sides, um, so we all know that this is triangle. Uh, now, this is quadrangle, and this is And this is five vertices. It's a pentagon. Um, and uh, 
next one is hexagon, etc. It's all from uh, legend enumeration. Uh, now, as far as the shape is concerned, polygons uh, uh, can be uh, regular or, or not regular. Now, regular uh, polygons are those polygons which have all, the, all their sides and uh, all their uh, internal angles the same. Uh, well, the same means congruent to each other. Now, in case of triangle, all sides are equal or all or, or angles are equal. Well, I should say congruent to each other. These three angles and these three sides. Now, uh, this is equilateral triangle. Uh, again, it's just the, the, just the terminology. In case of quadrangle, uh, the regular quadrangle is, as we all know, a square. Again, all angles are equal to each other, 90 degrees, and all sides are equal as well. In case of uh, regular pentagon, it looks exactly like the building of Department of Defense uh, in Washington. And hexagon is more like whatever bees like to put their honey in. Um, so basically the whole lecture is a very short one and it's only about definitions. We are talking about basic elements of geometry not exactly the properties or uh, theorems about it. That would be further lecture. So today, it's just a definition of certain uh, kinds of polygons uh, and uh, uh, basically some terminology related to this. Thank you very much.